For the first time since 2008, Australian rally ace Chris Atkinson is back driving for a factory team in the World Rally Championship. And what better way to celebrate than to take you along for a hot lap with Chris in this. <laughs> We're here with Chris, and if you're happy, can you just take us through what makes this so different from the road car? Yeah, I'd love to. Um, obviously, a few small differences. Um, Performance-wise, got a 1.6-litre turbo engine. Uh, a lot of road cars had that, but this is obviously tuned a, a fair bit further. Um, more aggressive on the turbo as well, and we have things like anti-lag, so you, you don't really have any lag. Your, your response is incredible. Um, looking at the front, the intake's uh, quite aggressive as well. You, you got a lot of cooling needed because the engines are running so hot right on the edge. Um, underneath, you can't even see it, but there's a, a metal sump guard. Um, that's designed to take impacts, um, support the car, as well through cuts, rather than ripping the, the sump out. And the suspension is where a World Rally car is really incre incredible. The, the control of the wheel and keeping that wheel on the road is everything in terms of speed. So try and run soft springs, but uh, a really strong damper to control the, the big impacts, but also give you grip. We've got mud flaps, obviously, to uh, stop any rocks flicking up and hurting some spectators. And then you, you look at the aero on the car, the, the big rear wing, and the downforce actually does work in a World Rally car. You take that off and it will change the handling completely. This would look pretty cool on the road car, though. Let's get some of those out there. No, they are awesome. On the inside of the, the boot, we obviously carry a spare tyre because we had a puncture. A um, bit like your standard road car, but uh, we've got a jack there, quick jack, to get the car up if there's any problems, and uh, we can get a, a tyre changed out on the stage in about a minute 30. So this is my office, um, looking in here, obviously a slightly different wheel to the standard road car. Um, we've got launch control buttons, uh, ALS buttons, which is our anti-lag system. Some standard things, some indicators. Um, we do drive these things on the road, so we need um, normal things like that, horn and wash and wipe as well. Obviously, you get some mud on the windscreen, you need to use those. Um, Six-speed sequential gearbox, so a bit different to a road car, they're, they're sort of straight cut gears, so you pull them straight through flat. You might notice our handbrake's a little bit different than a standard road car. We use that obviously to, to turn on the tighter bends or, or to save the car if it's, uh, if it's in a big um, understeer or something, try and get it turned. We, we only use the clutch basically for the launch. So uh, from the start, we use the clutch. Um, once we put it in launch mode, set off and then um, we don't use the clutch. We left foot brake, so we keep our left foot on the, the brake, our right foot on the throttle and then balance the car. Um, driving like that, nearly all rally drivers left foot brake. It's it's the only way to keep a, a car with a nice flow. Very few drivers um, right foot brake in rallying, but circuit racing it's a bit the other way. Mate, I'd love to take you for a spin in this car. Let's get out there. Now we just need we just need milk, bread, okay. and I think some yogurt. I'll just go down to the corner store. Yeah, that's perfect. taking one hand off the wheel while we're doing this too. Just having a little chat. It really adds to the excitement. <laughs> yeah. 
that about 180? Yeah, we're getting close to the limiter down here. That's 187 or something. Oh, nice. I'll wait, I'll wait till the end to pitch up here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, because that thing is just a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity.